Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 48 of Direwolf20's Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles Let's Play series. Hooray! Uh, between episodes, I did a little bit of crafting. That's a lie. I did a lot of crafting. Uh, mostly focused around, <clears throat> well, two things. One, I wanted to do more uh, knocking quests out. So I knocked out a handful of quests in the main quest line. Just some, like, you know, quick get-it-out-of-the-way stuff. I've also got my chemical dissolver and combiner that I'm interested to see, like, what we can get into uh, trouble-wise with that. Because it should be a little bit troublesome. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, and then in addition, I also noticed that I was getting a little bit low on storage here, right? So we're right around 28,000 items out of 32,000 items. We're pretty much coming up on 90% full on our storage in our uh, refined storage system. So you can see in my to-do list up here, I had a long list of items that I had to craft. Long story short, I wound up making four 16K storage parts. Okay, and the reason I made these, right, and the way I did it is I used this recipe to get two at a time, right? So I did six 4Ks, which gave me two sets of 16K, but since I did the boosting mixture, uh, I got four 16Ks, right? And I've got two boosting mixtures left. So what I'm doing um, is I'm going to use boosting mixture to make the 64Ks, okay? So I kind of purposely left these two things out here so you guys can see me do this on camera. So what I'm going to do is pop these dudes in here and then boom, that's one, okay? Now, that's only one because we need six 16Ks. We only had four, right? Uh, so two more 16Ks happen to be sitting right here. Oh, hello there, sir. Um, however, we're going to need to to get the items off there before we can use them, which is why I've got myself a fancy little disc manipulator right here. So what I'm going to do is take these two dudes out, um, and I'm going to put... Actually, I'll put them back in. Hang on. I forgot. Do, do, do. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to use this to make this. Boom. And... Am I low on special infused iron? I might be. I might be low on that. I thought I had more, but maybe not. I've been using a lot of stuff, as you'll pretty quickly see. But that's pretty cool, right? So even with just this 64K storage disk, right, we've now got double the storage capacity that we had before. So what I'm going to do is pop these guys out, put this guy in, and I'm going to put this in here, right? Now, he should be emptying this disc very slowly, though. Oof. That stings just a little bit. Let's pop these dudes back in here. I want some, like, speed upgrades from refined storage if I can. That doesn't look too bad. Ugh. Lots of things I don't have a lot of. Large, large number. Okay. So first off, let's get our 64K made, because I want to make sure that that's done before we do much else, okay? So you're going to go there, buddy. So now I've got two 64Ks, right, and two 16Ks. All right, so now I want ideally stack upgrades, so it requires a few speed upgrades, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we're also going to need more of this. Electro silicon, huh? I can make some of that. That shouldn't be a problem. Hooray! A stack of those. All right, now I want speed upgrades. I forgot that in refined storage you need you need to do this. Uh, so that doesn't look too bad, right? I'm gonna put you away. I'm gonna put you guys in there. Really? That's all I got? Oh, there we go. Ten will do. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. It'll never hurt to have, you know, a few speed upgrades, right? Nice. And one more. Okay, so I need you. Which means I need a lot more of that special infused stuff. Okay, not terrible. Not terrible. Ha! 
Hey, quest complete. No, just an advancement. I was hoping that was a quest. All right, one speed upgrade down, a few more special infused iron, and then we should be cool. All right, so that's four speed upgrades. Ideally, I would get a stack upgrade, but I'm holding off. So let's put these guys back in here and throw your speed upgrades in. That should at least speed it up so that it transfers stuff off these discs a little bit more quickly. Wow, that's still super slow, isn't it? Holy cow, that is slow. A stack upgrade would be great right about now. Uh, but we'll have to see. Stack upgrade would absolutely make this a lot faster. But I have to wait for all this quartz enriched iron to process. If I want a stack upgrade, I'm going to need like... Well, I think I need 44 more of those. So we're going to need a little bit more iron and a little bit more quartz. But that's what's up. So basically what will happen is once these two discs are filled up, or basically just, you know, half of this one, right? because it's total of at like, it's around 30K, right? It was 28K or something like that. So we won't even fill up half of one disc. Then we'll get two more 16Ks out of those dudes, right? We combine it with this 16K and we'll get two more 64Ks. So we'll have about 10 times as much storage, right? Not quite, but close. Eight times as much? Yeah, I think that's the math, right? Because I'm going from 32 to 256. That's a significant increase in storage capacity for us. So long story short, I won't have any worries about storage for a long, long time. Once I, I mean, for now we're already really good on storage, right? Like we're gonna, we're gonna be great. But once I, you know, get, you know, the, the next two discs cleaned up and make another 64K, then we'll be really great. All right, stack upgrade coming right up. Had to borrow these discs. Some of the stuff was on there. Let's see if that's a little bit faster now. Now we're cooking. Now we're getting there. That's a little bit better. All right, back in a minute when it's done. And that's about it. Booyah, nice. And we can even take these guys out because they'll be useful at some point in the future. You know that. Now, what is it? Is it this we do or we just shift click it? I forget. There you go, shift click. And that will get the casings out of the thing, right? So then I pop this dude in here. He crafts and I can use those casings for the 64s. How great is that? So now our total storage capacity is 256K. We're at 10%. Ah, uh, yes please, thank you. I am all about that. So refined storage, storage issues? Not so much anymore. I think we'll be fine, right? How are you guys doing? Oh, you were full on something. I always check in, like there's these little tasks that I do to like check in and see if things are behaving a little bit. And sometimes things behave and sometimes they need a little bit of TLC. Dyer takes care of them though. Just the kind of guy I am, I guess. All right, let's take a look at the chemical dissolver uh, from Alchemistry. And the chemical combiner, right? So these were quest items we got last stream, right? Um, and there's a handful of things that it looks like it wants me to get. So we can get a, we can get a few things here. Um, Let's see. The most efficient way to get this element is to put sand in the dissolver. So silicon dioxide. Let's definitely check this out, right? Now we might have some sand going on, but I suspect that we could always do with a little bit more. Hooray! More sand. I should set up a cobble works. Don't I always say that in like every series I do? I'm always I'm always get to a point where I'm like, I should set up a cobble works. And then I never do. No, that's not true. I do it, but it's usually like way later than when I need to. I should I should do it sooner. He says as he continues to not do it and just mine sand with his awesome shovel. Hooray! Why didn't I ever put a mana steel rod on this guy? I should. I should mana steel rod him. All right, so the chemical dissolver is what we'll use here uh, for this thing. Now, if memory serves correctly, this thing doesn't need a whole lot of RF, right? Shouldn't you uh, do the thing? Yeah, good. Cool. Yeah, not a huge amount of RF. There we go. Sweet. Quest complete, silicon dioxide, cool. As you can see, we get a lot of stuff from this, right? A lot, right? Now we can look at getting water and oxygen and we can also get cellulose, uh, which we can get from most plants. Um, and we can break that down into carbon and a few other things, but we'll, you know, take this one step at a time. But I'm interested in iridium. I'm interested to see where this thing's going with iridium, right? So the next step here 
is andesite. You want 64 andesite. The production of iridium is a long and complicated process, but you don't understand this process if you want to get ahead in the future. Use silicon dioxide in a combiner to obtain andesite. So basically, the chemical combiner works like this, okay? Uh, so again, boop. So here's how this machine works, okay? You can place items wherever you want um, in here. So if we look at silicon dioxide, we'll see that you know, silicon dioxide and barium makes block of quartz. Silicon dioxide and barium here makes chisel block of quartz, right? So there's a handful of combinations you can do. And silicon dioxide down here makes sand. Silicon dioxide here makes cobblestone. Silicon dioxide here makes smooth stone, okay? Here makes gravel, here makes granite, here makes diorite, here makes andesite, right? If you want, um, what you can do is, let me actually clear all this stuff away. These are all the crafting steps I had from, from between episodes, right? But if we want andesite, we just do this, right? Now, if I shift click that in there, notice how the lock recipe went to unlock recipe. So what happened is by doing that, we told the chemical combiner what we want to make. Now, if we didn't do that, we could just stick this in here um, and it would work, right? So andesite's cooking, no problemo. Although the power is a little bit low. So let's move this over to here for a moment. Right. Uh, however, if I want to lock the recipe, what will happen is it'll target exactly that item. And then if you pipe items in or shift click, they'll automatically go into the appropriate slot. Right. So what I can do is get something like a hopper. Right. And hopper the silicon dioxide into there and see how it's always going to go into that right slot. That's pretty cool. Right. So by targeting the appropriate item, you guarantee that you'll get the appropriate thing out. That's cool. So let me get this andesite and then we'll be right back. All right, so I've got andesite. Hooray, claim that quest. So let's see what's up next. The rock crusher, oh, is that the, yeah, nuclear craft rock crusher. All right, so that looks cool. I need some advanced plating. Oh, that's a lot of things. Joxum, tough alloy, and ovium, oh my. Oh my, but at least I get three for that. That actually is not a bad recipe. And then compressed steel. Ooh, that's a lot of steel. Whew. That's gonna be a lot of steel. What's that, 32 steel? I think so. Luckily, I've been keeping up on my steel ingots, but ooh, that's a lot. All right, um, and a few other things, none of which looks particularly terrible. Uh, cleaning tube, electric motors. Yeah, let me, let's see. Do we have a piston handy? Probably not. Okay, so let's get one of those, right? Uh, I should really, really look into doing this a little bit more intelligently, but you know, it's dire. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Red alloy ingots and iron. Really, I'm out, I'm out of red alloy ingots again? Oh, I'm always out of red alloy ingots. How's my iron situation? Um, enough that I had to search for it. That makes me wonder, is it nighttime? It is taking a nap. I want to go check in on my uh, digital miner. My digital miners have been doing great, by the way. Very, very pleased with their status. I moved it over here at some point. I forget if you've seen this on camera or not, but he's over here now. Hooray! And is he done mining? He is. All right, I should move him. Between episodes, I'll start processing some of that ore and move him to another location. Cool. All right, red alloy ingots look good. Hooray! So there's your piston. Uh, I'm gonna need one of you. Do, 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 do. Really? I'm low on gold? I'm that low on gold? Holy cow. Maybe I should go get my uh, my stuff over here. Please tell me I have, I have some semblance of gold in here, but not a ton. That hurts a little bit. And gold, I suspect, is a pretty high level thing. Well, at least I can triple it, right? That'll get me going. Am I really that low on gold? That's crazy to me. Crazy. Well, I've been doing a lot of crafting, and I haven't mined in a while. In a long while, to be fair. To be fair, I haven't done any mining in a long while. So I think what I'm going to do <clears throat> is, is basically figure out how we're going to... Where we're going to put all these machines once we decide, like, what all we really need. Because I'm not super sure about that, right? I'm not I'm not entirely sure what all we're gonna need for all this stuff. Right? So I should I should definitely do a little bit of like manual mining at some point. There's a lot of stuff I'd like to make better here, to be fair. 
So a bunch of diamonds. So that's that dude. That's that dude. Linear actuator. Shouldn't be too bad. Nice. 60k coolant cell. Actually, I could do three because I've got a 30k laying around. Might as well. Cool. What don't you have? Ah, vanadium plate. I'll make a few of those. You know, we always need a few more of them. Not like a crazy amount, but enough. And then the rolling machine was this, right? And that'll get that going. Lickety split. Love it. Love how fast things can be. Okay, so there's your 60k coolant cell. So you need joxum, tough, and ovium, right? So ovium, joxum, and tough. Now, tough alloy ingots are... Do I need the chemical reactor for that? Or I can induction smell it, hopefully. Yes, lithium and ferroboron. Nice. And that'll give me two, right? So I'm going to need more steel, boron, and lithium. Okay, so induction smelt. Let's do four. Sounds like a good enough number to me. Okay, and while that's cooking, and I want four diamonds that are crushed. And it looks like we're going to need some Constantin as well. So I'll be back in a minute once I get all the things I need. All right. So I think we're coming up on everything we need here. If I take a look at this rock crusher, the only thing that's left is that orange tube stuff. Cool, we have one. And I need to compress a few more of these dudes. Okay, and that looks cool. So then take this, throw it in here to make the advanced plating. So three, and then it's ovium, tough, joxum, right? So ovium, tough, joxum, and like that. Boom, bada bing. Rock crusher, nice. So this is apparently leading me, and I'm just, for now, sticking this here, because I don't know how anything works yet, right? But one can only assume that my task then, uh, oh, look, a rune of earth. That's an interesting quest reward. Boop, boop, boop. What else did I get for that? Uh, the compressed steel. Okay, cool. We'll take it. Sure, why not? Uh, so then the next task would be, I presume, to put andesite into there. Does that seem like a good assessment? Yeah, crushed arsenic. Sweet. Put andesite in the rock crusher to obtain crushed arsenic. There's only a small chance this will drop as a byproduct. Right. So we can do that. Now, remember, the rock crusher, super slow, but we can speed it up with nuclear craft upgrades. Right, so, ugh, not, not great. Manual in plates, enriched alloys. It's not a terrible recipe, to be sure. It's really not a bad recipe, honestly. Um, here, okay, cool. So, nice. So, liquid crystalline, which isn't a big deal, right? So, basically, we need plastic, tier 1 microchips, and enriched alloys, right? We may have a little bit, but that's steel, right? Isn't that steel in this pack? It is. All right, uh, plastics. Tier 1 microchips, right? Um, and then we're going to want a bunch of enriched alloys, which is going to be in here. The one with redstone, right? Steel. How about 18? Seems like a good number to me. Oh, good. More steel. Haha! -ha! Got to keep that steel production going at all times. You really do. Um, so then what else do we need if I wanted to make that, right? Nuclear craft upgrades, add those to the to-do list. So we want blessed vanadium plates, right? Uh, so I can take the vanadium plates we have and drop them right into the thing, which would be cool. Is it nighttime? Not yet. I hate the rain. I need like an anti-rain machine. The rain is the worst. Whee! Oh, I think I'm out of LP. <laughs> I am I am definitely probably out of LP. Where's my thing? I should... There's so much that I have left to do in this pack. Holy cow. It is getting to be a lot of things that I have left to do. I should look into a lot of things. 
Automation has just, like, not been a thing in the series, actually. Which is surprising, because it's, you know, it's me. Um... Last dagger. There we go. Cool. That'll at least get me a little bit, right? Not a lot, but I'll I'll fill up more later. Okay. So then my enrichment should be done, ish, uh, and we can do the the energy things, right? So it's a it's a carpenter recipe is where we're at with it, right? So let's start with speed. How many microchips did I have? Enough. Here's all the leftovers. Ah, there's some gold. I know I had some more gold than that. This was all leftovers from uh, the crafting of the 64s, right? Uh, and if we want manulin, that's just going to be ardite and cobalt, right? Do we have any manulin? We have a little bit. Ardite and cobalt. Let's just get like 16 of each and combine them over here. And then we'll get the manual in from that in a minute. Cool. Okay. So there's your vanadium. There's your plastics. And then there's that stuff. All right. And then we need crystalline, right? Uh, so where's that reservoir? You know, I never did find that reservoir that I lost. Lumium super glue. Nice. Liquid crystalline. Okay. We're going to need more liquid crystalline. What do you think we should use? Um, rubies seem like something we have a lot of. Where is liquid crystalline? So ruby, sapphire, peridots, those are pretty much your only options there. Ooh, I can smelt them like that. Okay, I didn't know I could put them in there. That makes life a little bit easier. Instead of having to go outside, right? Hopefully they're quick in here. Pretty quick. Nice. All right, so that'll help things a little bit. Having some speed upgrades for this stuff will totally be worth it. Oh good, you're done. Let's get you pouring out into there so we can get a block form. All right, making progress. So I'll throw some speed upgrades in there and didn't I get some energy upgrades? Yeah, there they are. Energy upgrades in there, just a little bit, right? So, you know, it's 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 draining more RF now, right? But then it would be otherwise, right? It's it, it goes from 20 to 100, but it's definitely faster and therefore better, right? So that's cool. Um, Side control, duh, 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 output slot configuration. I forget if you can auto output. Top output, void excess, void all default. Yeah, I don't know if it can auto output, but it's all good. I might have voided a little bit of dust right there, but it doesn't matter. We've got our crushed arsenic. It's cool. Hooray! Rewards. And all kinds of inventory issues. Because that's par for the course of Direwolf. Okay. So we also got an epic loot bag from that. Hey, Cobalt. Not that exciting, but, you know, it's a thing. Um, cool. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so we're getting some crushed dust from our andesite. All right, we'll want to keep that going. It's not the greatest chance in the world to get it, right? 0 0.3 it looks like. Okay, not bad. Neat. Um, cool. Oh, also, I was repairing my armor. I just remembered. I'm like, why aren't I not wearing any armor? Oh, right. I was repairing it. Okay, so now, uh, what's next to get? So we need a melter. Melts down materials from nuclear craft. Looks like I have another thing to make. How about I'll make this one off camera? We will be right back unless there's something of interest that happens during the crafting of this. So I need seismium, seismum, seismum. I need two seismum blocks, just as an FYI. So there was something of interest. Uh, that's gonna be obsidian, triberium, and ezo. All right, let's see how I'm making out. Uh, so we should have some of this stuff melted up. Hey, eight ingots of seismium, nice. Not too shabby. I only need two for now, I'll get the rest in a minute. 
cool. All right, you come with me, and if I'm not mistaken, we should have most of what we need here to do this. Cool. And then we need this guy. Oh, no, you stay there, because you need to come in here. Okay. I also had compressed obsidian for some reason. That was a quest. I don't know. It was a quest a while ago. Let's put you away for the moment. How's my andesite cooking doing? Not too shabby. Cooking right along. Okay, beryllium, augmentium, augmentium, beryllium. And arsenic is the one that we needed for the quest. So we're just going to hope that that's cool. Okay, so that's the last of you. And it was some combination of this. I remember the tough being in the middle. There it is. Nice. Cool. Now you should be done, which means we should have everything we need for a melter. All right, the advanced. Hooray! Cool. I should be, uh, you know, a little bit smarter about this, but once I figure out the mechanics of everything, then we'll go from there, right? So let's claim that reward. Set. Cool. So I got andesite, a CPU core, prudentium, and platinum. Cool. All right, next step along this path. Boy, this is a path. Chemical reactor from nuclear craft. Really, bro? I mean, okay, we can do it. All right, I think somehow I've got all this stuff. Let's see if I'm right. Do I got it all? Oh, I missed my motor. I thought I had a motor. I made it, I put it in the system. Hooray! The full Polyakov. Okay. Poly, poly, cough. Okay, sure, that's the thing I just did. I did that. Hey, chemical reactor, quest complete. Nice, <laughs> all right, quite a few steps, quite a few steps to get this thing going. Um, you know, not for nothing. Intermedium and a rare loot bag that has nothing too exciting in it. Okay, so with that taken care of, quite a few steps here. Molten boron and arsenic. So molten arsenic and molten boron cell is what we're gonna need, right? Uh, so let's get some cells. Let's get ready to melt down some boron and arsenic. Do we have boron on me? I might. I do, good job me. So a molten boron, right? Let's borrow you guys. I'm gonna put you in there. Cool. So that's gonna give me what? Is it gonna be 144? Because that's gonna be annoying. It is. Because a cell is gonna be a bucket, right? So it's gonna it's gonna wind up being a thing, isn't it? It's gonna be a, a little bit of a thing. And then arsenic is 666. So two arsenic. Wow, these numbers are not conducive to buckets. I just want you to know that, mod. I just want you to know that. So molten arsenic chemical reacts with boron. So it's one to one, at least the combination. We'll make boron arsenide. So at least we got that going for us. So it is one to one for the combination. So let's get, is it pipes for fluids? Yeah, it is, All right? So that's cool at least. I'm just figuring out how things work for a minute. But that should be coming up on Bucket's worth. Okay. And then I will pipe you right into there. And then we will remove the pipe for a minute. And then we'll do two arsenic. Right? So a little bit of the boron goes in there. Because my assumption, therefore, would be that my next step, right, is to combine those right in there. That would be a reasonable guess, no? Hooray! And then the excess goes in there, right? I hope that's the correct step because I'm just guessing that's true. Arsenic and boron cell again. Hooray! And then you want me to get boron arsenide cell. How did I guess? How indeed. That was a good guess by Dyer. I'll throw a few of these guys in there. Because I want to, you know, wind up mixing all this stuff properly. Uh, 
So that's okay. So I need two iterations of this to get a cell of it. Okay. Quest complete. And then we need an ingot former. Okay. Making progress. These quests are getting crazy. Silver plate and basic plating this time, which is dilithium and graphite. All right, I think what I'm going to do, um, not a terrible recipe, should be easy to knock out. These recipes aren't bad. I mean, they're definitely a hassle to make. Don't get me wrong. Some of them are definitely annoying, but they're not terrible, right? I wouldn't classify anything so far as being terrible. Just annoying that it's in that big table because I suspect it's going to be hard to automate. But most of these machines, I don't think I would need to autocraft, right? So here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to wrap up the episode. We'll come back next time. Uh, how many of these do we have? We have a lot of boron left, to be fair. Quite a lot of boron, frankly. Uh, we'll come back next episode, and we will have more fun figuring out how to go down this quest line to get Iridium. Because this is what's happening, right? We're going we're gonna to go down the Iridium pathways and figure out what's up. Now, what's interesting is most of these quests are optional, it looks like. Well, actually, no. This one and this one are necessary. Um, and so is this one, this path here. So we'll figure that stuff out soon. Ender tank is necessary? Okay, cool. Well, we'll figure it all out, okay? But for now, Delta 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time, uh, and we'll figure out how Iridium is made, uh, among some other things. All right, take it easy, guys.